So we're back here, and we're going to set the second half here versus Rice. And we're up to two scores. Had a nice uh, second half play there to get us going. Blown assignment by them, but it worked, so I'll take it. They set up the ball here. Uh, I don't know if they're going to try running it. They've actually tried running it quite a bit today. Offsides on us. That sucks. But like I said, yeah, they ran it quite a bit. They passed some too, but they've been. They have more rushing attempts than us. They, they got like a two back system, which is a gain of 49 on a route that went like this. They got five yard, little turn around, hook route. And they got 49 yards on it. That's a crappy tackle, if you ask me. Maybe just because I was doing it based on the run. The loss of three here, I think they'll like go to the pass. So they'll do a little man with a little zone coverage in the back there. And the 16 yard play first down, wow, this is not what we want. We don't want them coming out hot. Because if we can't get going, then we don't know what's going to happen. Let's see here. Oh, they scored a touchdown. I don't know if it was the right play goal by me. Uh, I think they're going for two. So I think the best is we're going to defend the. We're going to do normal. We're going to do a short zone with two blitzers. You know, hopefully we can stop them in case we do a run here. Good. Two yards is close. 9 14. That's big. Stopping them there was really big. We're guaranteed to have a chance at the game here. So, yeah, I just said the first play, which was a pass. And probably should have done that. Probably should have actually decided to run it a little bit more. You don't want. Oh, wow. Oh. Off to the end, somebody stepped out of bounds. You don't want to take the your foot off the pedal, I feel like, when you're leading a game like this. I think you gotta stay aggressive. You gotta stay with what's working. I mean, this is. I know it's just a game here, so it's different, but in terms of real life, though, I think, though, you can't just. If you're up by two scores with, in a big game, the quarter to go, it doesn't mean. If you've been passing all over them. Don't start running the ball just because it's going to melt off some of the clock. The way to melt clock is to get first downs. That's something we need to do here. We just got a big one there and a nice little gain of six. I think running the ball right here is working for us. I think we're going to stick to it. Ross got his first carry of the day, eight yards. That's good. That's nice. We need that. King got his first carry. So we got five different carriers right now. Williams finally gets back. He gets a nice little seven yard play. He's been running the ball all over him today. And that's what we need. Just wear it on the clock. Keep running it. Pass it if we have to. Which right now I think we're going to have to. I think we'll go for uh, another play action. I like to play action. There we go. We 13 yard play, and that's what we need. We need to answer their drive, their touchdown running drive, touchdown scoring drive. With a drive of our own that's been taking some time off the clock. They actually have more time of possession than us, which is not necessarily what you want to have when you're in the lead. And you want to keep in real life you want to keep your defense off the field. I think it's easier for an offense to keep their energy up in the defense. And when the offense or the defense does get tired, that's when the offense can take advantage of it. And to win the game you gotta score more more points. So if the defense takes advantage of the offense, it's not as bad as the offense taking advantage of the defense. Because it can result in a score. And that's not like I mean I would rather have a. I didn't even realize we just scored there. I was busy talking about my uh, offense defense there. But yeah, we'll take the score. That's for sure. We're up now 12. That's big. If we can, uh, we're gonna maybe win for two, but I think I'll keep it this way. We shanked it out of bounds. Penalty play is great. Let's just do some more. Uh, I don't like doing goal line plays or dime or any of that stuff, especially not with my uh, defense. I don't really got a stack defense yet, but we'll see. And they just scored on a touchdown with a 53-yard play because I ran a short zone blitz. That was definitely my fault. So they score right away, and they're back in this game here, and great. They didn't take any time off the clock. But 
we've been running all over them, so I say we keep it that way, and there we go, gain of 20 right off the bat. Keep running it. Yeah, remind me in the next video when I make where I do the recruiting too. When I get past this week, we got to see. Maybe Williams will make it into the, uh, into the, uh, what's it called? Like, players of the week. He's got 139 yards right now, which is a solid game. No, no touchdown, though. Unfortunately, we have to punt it here. I don't feel like going for a fake or anything here when we're on our side and the way they've been going the second half. But that was a really good punt. We do got a really good punter, I'll, I'll admit that. See, do medium zone on second and six. Don't want anything major, but I don't want to give a big play again here. Now we're going to do a short zone with Ram Blitz, our safety, because we have a chance to stop him on first down. There you go. That's something you, you want to stop him there. And if they get another big play, they get another big play, but if we can stop him and get the ball back, that's big for us. So let's go back to running the ball. We're working all day, except our center is out. I don't know if he's is he hurt or tired. I don't know. But we got no one good right now, and everyone. They're probably tired, I think. I think our offense is tired. Which might mean that their defense is tired, which is a good time to, to, to you know, uh, make big plays for us. I mean, they got a pretty good defense in right now. I don't know what their defense looked like in the start. But we're uh, going into the final quarter here. So we'll see how this uh, plays out. Wow, we threw a pick. I probably shouldn't have been passing it, but... I should have been sticking to the run game. I mean, we got 154 yards rushing by just one guy. We got a total of rushing yards of 165. 165 rushing. I'm pretty sure that adds up to more than 165, but unless there's another guy maybe below them. I don't think, I don't know. Oh, they just got a 42-yard passing play. We gotta stop on this drive here. This could be big. They could have a comeback win. That's not the way you want to start the year, that's for sure. Especially to have someone run like they have. And they haven't really, I mean, their passing game has been stepping up. They really haven't had that big of a game. They've had a few big pass plays. Like, look at the receivers 3 for 69, 3 for 64. It's not like they're like, they're just getting a few big pass plays here and there, and that's what opens up their drive. And they get another one of 24. 5 for 90, he's got. I should maybe start. Defending the pass one more because we've been defending the run all day. I don't know how we're going to stop him though. Like, who do we put? And they get a touchdown, puts him up. They're going to, uh, they're in single back formation. I'm going to do a little goal line this time. And just blitz the heck out of him. Blitz all, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Didn't work. So we got a touch back for us. Not good. Nicer, longer turn would have been nice. I've been calling the same run plays because it's worked better out of this formation, but they might start like reading them more. And I don't know, offense line's dead tired right now from the looks of it. I don't know what we got to do. We're going to have to maybe go to our passing game more. That hasn't worked at all. 7 for 22, as you can see. Game of 3 on the play is not what we wanted. Maybe our team's just out-conditioned by them. But that's not what you want to see either. Back to 4-3. Maybe they'll start running it more instead of passing it. I'm going to go to the pass, so just in case not, because I don't want to get beat by the pass. I don't know, right here. I think we're just going to go with man. I don't want to blitz. I don't want to... Take it easy. That's what we need. Oh, baby. We needed that big time. That was a must. Must get. 70 yard return for a touchdown and interception. That's big. I think it was 70. But uh, that's big. Plays like that can, can be game changer. That's a game changer for sure. But the momentum and all that stuff, it really affects. Like it just it, in real life that would really help your team, because like in if you look at we were kind of our, our uh, backs to the rope, because they've been tearing us apart the second half here, 
three touchdowns they've gotten. And we've only gotten one, and they answered right away. And look, like they're just getting pass plays all over us, 209 yards passing. They, I think they've got like 200 in the second half alone. So we needed that play to give us a lead and kind of give us a, a second chance. A play like that can, in your mind, it'll give you like, you think like, okay, we might have screwed up some before and lost this game, but we can come. Like we got the lead again now. We got a second chance. It makes you want to form even more to not give up the lead again. But my defense is like, hey, what the heck, let's give it up, we don't care. And now are they like running on us or yeah they're running on us the past few plays. See a little blitz, I keep blitzing them. Gain of three, this is gonna be a big play right here. Say so defend the pass. Do a medium zone and blitz two. Let's go for it. And touchdown. With four minutes to go. I'm not feeling confident right now, boys. Maybe we can get a nice return here. And it's in the end zone. So let's see. We'll go to shotgun. A little medium medium pass. I don't know what to do, man. We haven't been able to pass all day. Might as well go for a big one, I think. I think we're just gonna have to go for the two big ones. And it's picked off. This might maybe it'll be better for us here because we'll get better field position. I mean the clock's gonna be down some, but it doesn't matter, I guess. That hurts. That hurts big time. Okay, we're gonna have to like call timeouts. You just call timeout before the play. Call timeout again. Use our last one. There we go. We're going to get the ball back. No timeouts. And we're going to have to score quick. That's for sure. So I say we go. We're going to do what's quad look like. Not to learn to do shotgun. Get some medium passes up in this. There we go, that's big. Nice play. Here we go. Let's win this game, boys. That's we needed that drive so bad. We finally three plays, three completions. If you'd have told me that Shirley was new that, no, I would have never thought so. That was a big, big drive. We're gonna get the lead. We're gonna win this game. It's over. I'm confident we can stop him here. Uh, I'm gonna check what dime would look like right now. I think we're gonna go dime. Like I said we, I don't die much, but we might as well. We're gonna play deep zone, even though I'm not. We got him on the five. That's big. So I think we can play deep zone. Otherwise, he wouldn't want to in real life because. I mean, like, if it was, say it was on like the 30, you play deep zone in real life, you can they can hit like 15 here, 15 there, and now they're uh, they're a chance to get an easier uh, easier uh, what's the play I'm looking for like an easier throw to the end zone, it's not as far. Oh boy, fourth and ten. Uh, we're just gonna deep zone again. I don't don't want to risk anything. Okay, good. We won the game. So we're one and all. Uh, let me know how how what you guys thought of the game plan, how it worked. I mean, we got kind of lucky there. I was not expecting 35 points in the first game. Our running attack looked pretty good, but then again, we don't know how well Rice is at the moment. So they could be our worst team in the on our schedule, but we somehow pull off a win. So I mean, we'll take it, I guess, right? Take a look at the box score. Oh wait, you guys can't see it because it's like a link. But uh, I'll have to change that so that you guys can see stuff like this. But yeah, we rushed, or we uh, we had 165 yards rushing, 4.2 per attempt, 
221 yards passing, but we had four interceptions. They had one, but that was a big one. Yeah, they scored four touchdowns in the second half. We scored three. I don't know how we scored three. I felt like they really had the advantage over us, but it's a big win on our part, on our part and I'm happy we've got it done. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, right now we're 1-0 uh, with a lot of the other teams in our conference, but, yeah. Let me know. Let's see what the email says. Sub post game report. You, there's like things like this too, where it's like uh, you can't see it, but it'll say like rushes and it'll be like missed holes from the running backs. Uh, Shirley had three bad passes, one great pass, uh, one great catch by Rush, uh, one bad route by uh, William Brown, etc. Through things like that, which is kind of cool to see, which plays are performing well, which ones aren't. But uh, yeah, I say we uh, call it quits there, and you guys let me know what you guys think, and what do you guys think about uh, what I need to work on, what needs to be improved. We're get we got number 17 Notre Dame next at the big game. Odds are we won't win, but I'm going to be going in there, Captain. I think we're going to have a, right now my game plan is going to be a little bit different. I think we're going to have to rely on some of the big plays. We're going to do a lot more long passing. It might lead to more three notes, but we'll see what happens. So like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. Let me know.